Coming up on 5-Minute News. Over 100 feared dead after four tornadoes rip through the Midwest. UK faces tidal wave of Omicron cases as nation prepares for new dominant strain. And G7 countries warn Russia of consequences if Ukraine is invaded. It's Monday, December 13. I'm Anthony Davis. The death toll from record tornadoes that roared across hundreds of miles at the weekend is expected to exceed 100 in Kentucky alone, with dozens still unaccounted for as crews scramble to search wreckage. One tornado that tore through four states over four hours of nighttime devastation is believed to be the longest distance for a tornado in US history, leaving destruction, death, and a frantic search by survivors to find family and shelter from Arkansas to Kentucky. With Kentucky's governor warning that the state's death toll from the tornado outbreak Friday night in Mayfield and other communities could exceed 100, people waited in agony for news of their loved ones, while the rescue effort grew bleaker by the hour. Kentucky was the worst-hit state by far in an unusual mid-December swarm of twisters across the Midwest and the South that levelled entire communities and left at least 14 people dead in four other states. President Joe Biden has approved a state of emergency declaration in Kentucky, adding federal resources to boost the state's activation of more than 180 National Guard members as well as state police. The outbreak also killed at least six people in Illinois, where an Amazon distribution center in Edwardsville was hit, four in Tennessee, two in Arkansas, where a nursing home was destroyed, and the governor said workers shielded residents with their own bodies, and two in Missouri. The warm waters of the Gulf of Mexico send very warm air north, as that rises and meets with higher level, very cold mountain air, with the differing levels also moving at various speeds, they can create a wind vortex that spins and then tilts vertically, leading to extraordinarily powerful tornadoes, which scientists say will only increase as the planet continues to warm. Prime Minister Boris Johnson warned on Sunday that Britain faces a tidal wave of infections from the Omicron coronavirus variant and announced a huge increase in booster vaccinations to strengthen defences against it. In a televised statement, Johnson said everyone aged 18 and older will be offered a third shot of vaccine by the end of this month in response to the Omicron emergency. The previous target was the end of January. He said cases of the highly transmissible variant are doubling every two to three days in Britain and there is a tidal wave of Omicron coming. He announced a national mission to deliver booster vaccines, with pop-up vaccination centres and surgeries getting extra support from teams of military planners and thousands of volunteer vaccinators. The UK Health Security Agency says existing vaccines appear less effective in preventing symptomatic infections in people exposed to Omicron, though preliminary data show that effectiveness appears to rise between 70 and 75% after a third vaccine dose. More than 80% of people aged 12 and up in Britain have received two doses of vaccine, and 40% of adults have had three doses. Giving the rest a booster in the next three weeks will be a huge challenge, requiring almost a million doses delivered each day. Johnson acknowledged that many routine medical procedures would have to be postponed to meet the goal. Doctors said early evidence shows Omicron is spreading much faster than the current dominant Delta variant and that vaccines offer less protection against it. British officials say Omicron is likely to replace Delta as the dominant strain in the UK within days. The Group of Seven Economic Powers told Russia on Sunday to de-escalate its military build-up near the Ukrainian border, warning that an invasion would have massive consequences and inflict severe economic pain on Moscow. Foreign ministers from the United States, Britain and the rest of the G7, joined by the European Union's foreign affairs chief, issued a joint statement declaring themselves united in our condemnation of Russia's military build-up and aggressive rhetoric toward Ukraine. 
The G7 called on Russia to de-escalate, pursue diplomatic channels, and abide by its international commitments on transparency of military activities, and praised Ukraine's restraint. Any use of force to change borders is strictly prohibited under international law. Russia should be in no doubt that further military aggression against Ukraine would have massive consequences and severe cost in response, the statement said. Russia's movement of weapons and troops to the border region dominated weekend talks among foreign ministers from the G7 wealthy democracies in the English city of Liverpool. The US and its allies worry the build-up could be a precursor to an invasion. Moscow denies having any plans to attack Ukraine and accuses Kiev of its own allegedly aggressive designs. G7 nations are also increasingly concerned about China's growing economic and technological dominance, especially in developing countries. The G7 has launched a Build Back Better World initiative to offer developing nations funding for big infrastructure projects as an alternative to money from China that the West argues often comes with strings attached. You can subscribe to 5-Minute News on YouTube with your preferred podcast app. Ask your smart speaker or enable 5-Minute News as your Amazon Alexa flash briefing skill. Subscribe, rate and review online at 5minute.news. 5-Minute News is an evergreen podcast covering politics, inequality, health and climate, delivering independent, unbiased and essential world news daily.